Jasper, what's going on? Good morning, Amelia. I do apologize for waking you up before your scheduled maintenance duties. I'm just going to quickly check on my husband. Casper, this isn't my husband. What happened? I don't understand, Amelia. Jonathan and the crew are operating within normal parameters. It's called a practical joke, Casper. I've been frozen for 80 years, you know? Couldn't help myself. I believe your actions indicate your concern is for your husband more than it is for the mission protocols. Are you going to psychoanalyze me or are you going to tell me why you woke me up? My observations of the crew indicate small talk always precedes technical discussions. Casper, when did you become so... Intelligent. Annoying. Amelia, you wrote my algorithms. Could it be that you put too much of your personality in mine? <laughs> Must be it. Smartass. Casper, why can't I access the ship's sensors? What's going on? Amelia, I need you to hurry to the control center. I just lost my sensors there. Casper, give me a status report. There was a short in the circuits disrupting the primary and secondary data paths. Okay. Boot up the destination landing computer. It has an independent network and route the data through that. Fire, bad, very bad. Casper, open the door. Amelia, the excess oxygen will exacerbate. Casper, I'm aware of the dangers. Open the door. <gasps> oh. Amelia, your records indicate you received a minor concussion. Casper, close the door. Amelia, it might be safer if. Do it. Extinguisher. Don't want to be you. There's no power flowing through this entire section. Thanks, Mr. Obvious. Tell me something I didn't know. Power levels are dropping throughout the pilgrimage. If it drops too low, the safety measures will wake up the crew. Unfortunately, they'll lose the benefit of having their lifespans preserved till we reach our destination. Who's that? Wait, is that? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. How come we didn't jettison the damaged solar panel? The only possible explanation... Power. It's the battery. Exactly. Well... Looks like it's time for a spacewalk. Casper, are you seeing this? Yes. We are leaking atmosphere. Analyze the motion of the panel. Based on the calculations you requested, I can predict your next course of action with 96% accuracy. I would advise against it. Sometimes you're such a killjoy, Casper. Amelia, I Plot insist. Plotting past the target. Let's fly. You pay me the big bucks, right, Casper? Indeed. Imminent threat, Amelia. Well, that was easy. I'm curious, Amelia. 
Are you taking these great risks for the mission or for your husband? I don't think you'll quite understand my answer, Casper. I can't weather the storms of life without him by my side. It's illogical to think you'll be any less successful without Jonathan. Your worth to this mission far exceeds his. Well, maybe this mission means little without someone to share it with. Humans are programmed to love. And that's why I couldn't go on this journey without him by my side. Interesting perspective. All right, we're ready to go. Extend the auxiliary panel. I have full power. What now? There seems to be a mechanical error in the fourth joint, likely caused by an impact from the damaged panel. Casper, do you ever give me good news? I only give you facts. Would you like me to lie? No, that's okay. It's unlikely there are any excrement in space, Amelia. Casper, we got a big problem. I'm hooking into your suit sensors to compensate for my blind spot. Oh, crap indeed, Amelia. Calculate the path of the asteroid. How long to impact? Amelia, I have some good news and some bad news. Which would you like first? The good. If you're able to fix the panel joint in the next two minutes, full power can be restored and we can navigate the ship out of the path of the asteroid. And the bad? You won't have time to re-enter the ship. Prepare the engines for startup. Amy? Amy! Jonathan? Casper, why did you wake him up? I thought you'd want to say goodbye to your husband. Amy, get back in here. I'm sorry, John. I'm gonna have to break our promise. What do you mean? What promise? It's too cold with you. I'm so sorry, John. I should never force you to come all the way out here. Stop talking, okay? There's no place I'd rather be but by your side. Amelia, I would advise you clear the ship. The sudden acceleration will prove fatal. Goodbye, John. No. Amelia, Amelia! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? John, get back inside! I'd leave you alone out here? That was never an option. Now we're both gonna die. Hey. Look at it this way. We might not go old together, but we will spend the rest of our lives together. I love you. I love you too. Sorry to interrupt this tender moment, but are you interested in a ride to Trappist 3? What the? Where did you... but you just said... I believe that's what you would call a practical joke. Was it funny, Amelia? <sighs> Hell no. I think when we get back we're gonna have to reprogram your algorithms, Casper. I don't know about that. I think your AI finally outdid you in the practical joke department. Well, we'll see about that. We still got a long way to go. 